When it comes to your grip pressure, you want to grip at about a 3 or a 4 on a scale of 1 to 10. 1 being that you're dropping the club, and 10 you're gripping it as tightly as possible. When you set the club on the ground and grip it with a grip pressure of 3 or 4, the club should feel like it's gently resting in your hands. We're not gripping it tightly as that will inhibit the movement of the club throughout the swing. Before we get to the actual position of your hands, I'd like to cover one key point. It's important that when you grip the club, you grip it in your fingers and the club rests up against the butt of your hand here. Rather than gripping it in the palm of your hand, more like a baseball bat, which will also inhibit the movement of the club throughout the swing. So as we grip the club in our fingers, we'll gently wrap our right hand around the club. Using the midline of the grip as a visual aid, your left thumb will want to point just to the left of the midline of the grip. This will form a V between your right thumb and right forefinger. That V should point towards your left shoulder. When you place your left hand on the club, we're going to place the right thumb in the left palm. Again, the club down in the fingers here. Gently wrap your right thumb over the top. The V created by your left thumb and left forefinger will also point towards your left shoulder. When you set the club on the ground, this is what a completed grip position will look like.